And welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge. And this one is all about a question I keep getting asked. How do you stick the stuff up on the wall when you're looking at it? Do you use big nails, tape? One of the things you really wanna do is to avoid this situation. I walk into your studios and I see you putting your panes temporarily up on the wall with the green tape or the yellow tape. What are you doing? No wonder you can't see the painting. This stuff is so such an ugly color. The tape is there to get attention. And what you're trying to do is put the painting on the wall so you can look at it without the tape and tacks. Let me show you what works for me in my studio. My studio walls are covered permanently with this foam core. Look at that, half inch foam core. Lightweight, takes tacks easily. It comes white and you can get it in a four by eight foot sheet. So I covered the entire walls in my studio. It makes it really nice for putting tacks in. Look, done. No hammers or screwdrivers or things like that. I also painted a, a, a gray. That way I can get to see the artwork a little bit better. So what about hanging the heavier stuff on the walls? Let me show you over here on my table. Here's the backside of a wooden canvas. One third down, I put a temporary self-tapping wood screw. I didn't have to use a drill, it taps itself. I just screw it into the wood into the framer bar, the little screw right there, self-tapping screw. This is the framer's wire, that wonderful soft strand. The secret here is these push pins. Look at those long, long needles. Don't get those tiny little ones you get at the secretary store. Oh, get these. <laughs> and you stick them right there on the wall, just like this. Look how simple that was. And now, the canvas, while I'm looking at it, it just hang right there. Boom, done. I don't have to go use any hammers and looking for equipment. Just hang it right on the wall. I got tacks on all over the studio, all over the walls. Now, what about the heavier canvases? This tack is gonna handle my big canvases. Let me show you what I do. So on my studio walls, I wanna hang those heavy canvases. So as I mentioned to you, I put these wooden strips all along the entire wall. These are one inch by two inch wooden strips. That way I can put all the holes on the strips and not all over the wall. My wall eventually looked like Swiss cheese until I figured out, let's put all the holes on these strips. Okay, pretty simple. There's my screw or nail. Just stick it in there and done. See how easy that was? Boom, boom, high tech. Now, the canvas, canvas, so simple. Look at that. There you go, that's close enough. Now I can see it without any nails and tape and wires and whatever you do to hang your paintings. Make it simple, but I do like this system. Keeps all the holes on one line, as opposed to all over the walls, right? Took me a while to figure that one out. Pretty simple, one by two at the lumber yard. Have a good time. Put them permanently into the wall and you've got a working hanging system for the bigger, heavier canvases. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Just little tidbits that help you put more energy into your creative energy <laughs> into your paintings. Hey, I'll see you at the next Bob Blast. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you pass this on and help other people too. Take care. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.